Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're ready to take your YouTube channel to the next level with a stunning cover poster, you have come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna try to create a professional and eye-catching YouTube cover using Adobe Photoshop, which you can create too, whether you're a seasoned designer or just starting out. Let me show you how I did it. Step 1 we begin by creating a love sketch, keeping in mind how the cover will look like across different devices. I mean on desktop, TVs and mobile phones. You know the sizes are different, so don't worry about my drawings here. My main focus here is on the layout and ensuring everything fits perfectly. Step 2 it's time to create our template. For it, we go with 2560 pixels, height, 1440 pixels, orientation, landscape, color mode, RGB, resolution 300 dpi. And next is to create three rectangles. The first one should be 2560 by 423 pixels. The second one we go with 1855 by 423 pixels. And the last one should be 1546 by 423 pixels. Give them a different color and make sure to align them at the center. For this, it's where we're gonna create our grids. So go to view and select new guide from shapes and we are done. Step 3 Let's find all the necessary material for this project on Google. First, we go to pixabay.com and use any prompt that you want. In my case, I'll search for a girl jumping. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Let's download it. Note that there are many websites where you can get free stock assets. I will download this background with a watermark. Next, let's look for speakers and other items on Google. After getting all the assets, let's bring them into Photoshop and start designing. Step 4 Let's start by braiding our background layers. I'm using a laser tool to combine these two photos with a flow of 10% and 100% opacity, making sure there is no hard edges. Everything looks seamless. Next, let's bring our first character, resize and place her as. Let's do the same with, the, with our second character, resize and place her here. Next, let's resize our logo from pixabay.com. We need a circle to hold our logo. Let's resize it, give it a color. Next, let's give our channel a name. Let's call it All About Me. We say that use a bold font. Next, let's create a social media holder. Place a rectangle and apply a darker shade of blue. Next, we place Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok logos here. And let's call it all about music. I need a favor from you. I really like this video. I'll feel more motivated if I get 1000 likes on this ego video. So, like this video and help it to reach more people. If you haven't subscribed, kindly smash that subscription button and turn on the bell icon to always be the first one to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. Back to the video. Let's add more detail. Here I'm just drawing the lines just to fill the spaces. Nothing fancy, just duplicating and resizing accordingly. Now let's bring our first speaker. Resize it and move it here. It's just picking and dropping. Let's resize our second speaker. I mean it's just repetition of everything. Resizing and replacing. Next let's design our play button. We start with a rectangle. Give it a white color. Then the triangle. Give it a black color. Then align it at the center. And there we have our play button. Next let's light a tag. New video every week. Nothing crazy, we keep it simple. Now, now on our main header, break the beat. I want all the focus to be on the beat. To people who will watch it on TV, but on computer and phones, the focus should be on music. Breading more photos in the background and bringing the poster to life. First, we place this concert photo we've just downloaded from Google. Let's add more drama, more rights, more of everything. For real, I have no idea why I'm shading this, but my brain is convincing me I'm doing the right thing. But since I don't want a flat beat and I don't want a uniform bevel, I'm definitely trusting my mind on this. Let's put a shadow here. Nice. And yeah, that is it. Next, let's grab our pen tool. Do something that will go through the beat. I'm trying to have a smooth curve. Next, is to make it look like 3D by applying shadows and highlights yes looking great there you go i'm in love with what i've created today if you do enjoy make sure to leave a like and a comment of what you want to see in a future video let's mask the shape and call it a day